Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson and I'm about to give you five exercises for raising your rear view. So this is all about two things. Don't let it offend you or scare you or embarrass you if you say this is only about vanity and I want to look better because of course we do. Have you ever been complimented on how ugly you were? No. So it's always about how good we look and here's my theory. If you look good, you feel good and you do good. So bring it. So what I'm going to do is start with five exercises in this first series that is all about exercises that you need to do if you have gluteal amnesia. And that is those muscles, you're sitting on them most of the time. Maybe you're standing, but they're really not working. And those largest muscles in your lower half can do a lot to strengthen or be strong and do their job so that other muscles don't have to and help you avoid injuries. So whether it's vanity that motivates you or not, it is something else that is really your need for doing it. So these exercises at first are not going to look very sexy, but they are going to help you activate the muscles that you may not get to if you jump into bigger exercises. And we'll do some of those in the second set. So hang in there with me. Be patient with yourself and do some of these that just seem so super simple because what you want to feel is that you activate the muscles before you go on to the next one. It's like putting the foundation on before you put the second and the third floor on. So I've got a pillow here. If you have a BOSU and if you don't know what that is, don't worry use a pillow or a foam roller that would also work but what I want to do is put it right under my middle so I'm elevating my hips just a little bit my hips are a little bit higher than my hip or than my knee and that's what you want to happen so here's what I'm gonna do when I start I want you to put your head down so you can relax and I'm gonna focus on one cheek at a time so what I'm gonna do is try and tighten that cheek so I'm just trying to squeeze and then I'm gonna lift I'm gonna lower down and then I'm gonna release that cheek. So squeeze the glute, lift the leg, lower, and then release. And then put your head down and continue. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and I'm going to go on to the other side. So I want you to just squeeze with me. Lift, so you're doing this with me, not watching, and release. Squeeze the glute, lift it, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. And that release piece is really important. So you need to be turning the muscle all the way on, squeeze, lift, lower, and let it go off in order to do that. Squeeze, lift, lower, and relax. Squeeze, lift, lower, and release. Squeeze, Lift, lower, release, squeeze, lift, lower, release, and two more. Squeeze, lift, lower, release, last one. Squeeze, lift, lower, and relax. Don't try to remember all these, but to even them up, you're going to do about 15 of those on either side. Or if you feel like you're losing the contraction, it's just not happening, then you're done. Train only the good ones. That was just the squeeze and lift. That's it. Next exercise coming up. So most likely this one's really familiar to you. You want to sit or lie down on your back with your heels close enough that your fingers could grace the backs of your heels. Feet about hip width apart, right underneath your sit bones, straight ahead. And all you're going to do is squeeze the glutes, lift and hold just for a few seconds. And that means you really own the strength that's holding you up. Come down and again, squeeze and lift and hold to make this a little bit more challenging. 
I'm gonna have you bring your feet and your knees together and then release. So lift up and squeeze, hold on. You can focus on your core a little bit as you're here and then release. Keep your hands nice and open, palms up. Lift, squeeze, hold it right there and then release. And again, squeeze up, lift and hold. Make sure you're really focusing on that squeeze, not just the movement. So your hips are responsible for extending this hip joint, but you wanna focus on the glutes just as much as you can to get that little extra push and hold. Squeeze and lift. Make sure your weight's in the back of your head and there's a little space under your neck. And then release. Lift and squeeze. Hold it up there, and then release. And again, squeeze and hold. Oh, stay there, and then release. You're gonna do about 15 of those, and then we're gonna move right on to the ball. So, with a big ball, you're gonna put your heels right on the end of it. So you wanna notice that you're not choked up here, especially if you have limbs that are only as long as mine. We need every bit of it, but you're not way out here on your heels alone. So you want a little bit of your ankle on that ball. You're gonna lie back. We're gonna do two exercises here. So the first of those is going to be just a simple bridge up. Slight bend of your knee, it's not locked, and then lift and down lift and then down so watch what happens when i come down i'm not releasing i'm going to lift and i'm going to come right here lift up and come right here lift and down and i have my hands here for a reason so i'm not straining through my neck so keep your arms wide open or here for support lift and come down we'll do four more together when you go through this, try to do up to 15 if you can. And release. Now, on that one, you may feel some work back here. So your hamstrings, of course, are connected to your glutes. So it's a team effort, and that's okay. Now, you're really gonna notice that that's true on this one, where we do hamstring curls. So you're gonna come up to that same position and then roll the ball in and out. And we'll go for 10 on that. Watch this. So you come up and then come in and out. Two, keeping your hips up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and relax nice job now we're going to do a little standing now this next exercise uses a band so you can buy a band at probably any discount store or you can order yours and i'll leave you the link in the notes for today's show so take a look at this band and i'm putting it around my ankles another option would be to put it around the arch of my foot but I don't wanna do that unless I'm really advanced and I have practiced and know that I can handle that with a strong core and no weakness in my lower back. So the other alternative would be right here above my knees. So I can strengthen the outside of my hips here fine and I'm gonna be protected a bit because it's above my knee and not below it. So what I want you to do is choose based on if you're a beginner, it's right up here. If you're a little bit more advanced, it's at your ankles. And if you know you're super strong, you already have a strong core, no issues with your back, it can go around the arches of your foot. Try to put it under your shoe and that'll help it stay put. So this one is for back here, but also for the sides. We sometimes forget the glutes are a medial muscle as well as a maximum muscle. So we need to use this muscle. Watch the side step. Keep the tension in the band and move side to side. You get the idea. With this one, you'd also want to do sets and repetitions. So you might do a set of moving to the right 
10 steps. Moving to the left, 10 steps. That would be one set of the exercise. Work your way up so that you can do 15 or 20 steps side to side, but maintaining good form. So watch the difference. This is what you do not want, and this is what you do want. Very stable, very strong, and level from side to side. And that's your band for the bum. This is the last of our exercises in this series. So if you have some trouble with your knees, your ankles, or your hips, either one, and it's difficult for you to do things like squats and lunges where you have a lot of forward flexion, a lot of balance on one leg or the other, then this is your group. This last one in a standing position will help you become aware of whether one side is stronger than the other or not. I've got a big ball because it's what I happen to have. If you have a small ball at home that's like a child's ball from a supermarket or a discount store, that would be ideal. You can use that as well. Do with what you have. Work with it. It'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is take this ball and put it against the wall and I want to stand up so that I'm really right beside it. I'm gonna put one leg up and that ball goes right in the middle of my leg between my knee and my hip and I am pushing the ball toward the wall. And I'm trying to push in and release and push and release. And while I'm doing that, this hip is the one that's working. Push and down, press and release. We'll do five more, strong core, four, push, three, as if you're pushing it, squishing it against the wall, and push, and again. Now I'm going to show it to you from the other side. So similarly, you want to bring your leg up, make sure that you're close enough that it almost feels uncomfortable, and then lift the leg up, and it goes, the ball goes right between your knee and your hip, so not at your hip, but halfway between, because you want to have to use that lever. Okay, right away, I know this one needs it worse. <laughs> Press and release. And you're not gonna see much movement, but I'll tell you what, it's working. Three, and release. So I'm pushing four, and release. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and release and let that one come down. Now, a little bit of cramping right here in that hip flexor as I'm pushing against the wall. That's natural. So if you need to come down and rest, go ahead and do it. If you have some lazy glutes and gluteal amnesia, because it's been a while since you've worked them, start here. Or if you've got knee or hip issues that right now don't let you strengthen those glutes, stay here if you need to. You might find strengthening the glutes changes a problem or alleviates it because sometimes knee pain is a problem in the hip because it's not strong enough and these muscles are not doing their job. So next up is standing exercises for progression or if you need something just a little bit challenging.